So I've bought this diesel air heater from AliExpress which is only 100 euros free shipping and it came very very fast only three days it took from Czech Republic to Romania and I've got this model which uh, they say it takes in 12 volts 3 amperes 8 kilowatts and the fuel consumption which is very low it has this fancy LCD panel with a remote control which we are going to see soon how it works and yeah it looks like a very fuel efficient and cheap alternative to warm up my workshop during the winter in the rare occasions where I'm spending the time there tinkering on something or uh, working my radio station on satellite. Okay, let's fill it up. Let's see what we got here. No filter at all, which is not very good. Get the hell out of here. This is diesel and do not use any other fuel than diesel. good it's leaking fuel somewhere damn it okay I gotta figure out what happened while we are at it let's take a look that's a connector for the display, a connector for the heater itself, the pump. I'm going to pause now and see where the leak is coming from. As you can see, it's a screw in there, but there's no screw there, and this is the plate where they're screwing in
as you can see I replaced my broken tank with a bottle see this and I'm waiting for the new tank to arrive in the meanwhile I want to use this thing so I won't wait any any longer I measured the maximum current and it's about 10 amperes at start up and it, then it lowers to a constant 4 amperes normal operation I also measured the temperatures of the exhaust pipe and the heater outlet this heater will be installed in my workshop underneath this table this workbench right here so I have to make this wooden stand I am placing this ball bearing balls right here and I'm using this wooden peg to fix those pieces into place first we drill a small hole and then the final hole marking the half just because I have it I'm adding a bit of rubber to this fit I kept this rubber band for years and now I finally got to use it patience is the key I left it there to wait until the glue dries Now the hole in the wall, that's it, I'm going to do a pilot hole, yes, the light came through from the other side, now I'm going to do a big hole indeed, yes, and what's the purpose of this big hole? As you can see the wall is insulated with some kind of foam and because the exhaust heats up so so bad as you can see it changed color I'm going to use this insulation here which is a glass wall and yeah it has to pass through there Yes, on the other side I don't need such a big hole to come through because this is iron shed so i'm just going to enlarge this hole just for the exhaust to pass yeah about 26 millimeters this is what the hole looks like i clean it a little bit and now i'm going to use this epoxy spray to spray the metal sheet to prevent it from rusting I want to use this wire mesh to prevent the creatures from entering the exhaust pipe from the outside because they will sense the heat and will try to make a home inside your heater and let's see how can this perform how can this resist the heat Now I'm using this rock wool pipe protection to insulate the wall of my shed.
the exhaust will generate a lot of condensation, so under no circumstance place the pipe upwards, because the water will accumulate inside and will affect the good functioning of the machine. I'm going to take this steel plug and block the entrance of the creatures inside my pipe. Now everything is connected. I connected this battery and this small charger just to have a small backup. And let's start it. It's cold air, air, not warm yet. Three degrees inside my shed. Yeah, the air is getting warmer. To set the clock, when the heater is on, long press left button and S01 displayed on the screen. Confirm with long press power and the hour starts blinking. Adjust the hour, long press power to confirm. Minutes starts blinking, adjust minutes, long press power to confirm, that's it. To go back to default display, you press power shortly. Now it's in manual mode, automatic mode. Turn it off, short press power. So it takes a while to cool off after you power it down. Thanks for using. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you very much. The heater has basically two modes of operation. When you power it, start heating. It will default with the last operation mode. Now, as you can see, it's in manual mode and it has with the up and down button, nine levels of power. One to 10, 10 is the maximum. And we, maximum it will means that it will throttle up as long as you keep it the, this way. If you long press the power button, it will switch into auto mode. And right now it displays the ambient temperature, but you can set the desired temperature with left and right button and uh, it will automatically adjust the power of the motor depending of the ambient temperature and if it approaches the set temperature it will slowly begin to throttle back and thus reducing the fuel consumption one more thing, you can easily detach this display controller like that and you can prolong this wire as long as you need it and you can place it some on, somewhere else at your convenience and uh, will display the actual ambiental temperature much more precisely than here on the device which obviously will heat up much faster than the, the room. Let's do a comparison between this diesel heater and an electric heater in terms of how fast it heats this shed and at what cost. I run each device for 3 hours and measured the temperature rise and energy consumption in terms of fuel and efficiency. Because this is the fuel tank that I have right now, until the new original tank arrives, I'm going to measure it and mark the volume 
so this is a two liter bottle and it has precisely 21 centimeters Let's not forget this thing also requires electrical power, so I set up a power meter and I will also count the electrical consumption. And I started the clock with the starting ambient temperature of 4 degrees. We'll come back in 3 hours and see how it performed. I also want to do a time lapse to see how the temperature evolves over this time. Precisely three hours later, we turn off the diesel heater experiment. The electrical consumption was, was it precisely 100 watt during three hours. And the internal temperature reached 19 degrees centigrade. 1.2 liters of fuel consumption. I've let the shed cool down overnight and the next day I repeated the experiment with the Tesla model, uh, sorry, with the electric heater, again letting it run for three hours and measuring the temperature and the energy consumption. Full blast. This heater has an internal thermal protection and it doesn't work continuously. It switches on and off periodically even if the temperature setting is at full blast. And the Tesla, sorry, electric heater consumed 3.5 kilowatts during three hours. Then I've extracted the data and made this chart, this comparison graph showing the temperature increase of the diesel and the electric heater and below you'll see the value regarding the energy consumption in my country the exchange rate as per 2023 is one euro equals five lei the diesel price is seven lei per liter and the electric bill is one leo per kilowatt hour considering these costs and the delta t the degrees each device managed to push during this period you can see that the mathematics converged to almost identical money per degree for both devices so i conclude this the electric heater is cleaner more silent and more portable but because of the smaller power it hits the room more slowly imagine how an 8 kilowatt heater would look like it would put a lot of stress to your electric wires the diesel heater must be installed in a fixed position and it's not portable. The exhaust must be conducted outside and it also has an intake port which must also be conducted outside if your room is very airtight. It's noisier either. On the other hand, it's very fuel efficient and heats up the room faster. So if this is what you're after, then in my opinion it represents an excellent solution to heat up an workshop or a garage or a small cabin in the winter. Roger, tranquility, we copy you on the ground.